Philippines, get ready to lend your ears and tackle the physics issues around the world. I am Maria Jana Castro, and I am Lansky Lesa and you are watching News Physica. Tip 6. Did you know that drones could help create a quantum internet? Scientists have used octocopters to send entangled photons to distant locations. Reporter Cassandra Capara will give you more insight about this topic. Cassandra? Thanks, Jana. Good day, everyone. I am Cassandra Capara, reporting for the latest news. It's possible that the quantum internet is coming to you via drone. Drones have now been used by scientists to transmit light particles or photons that share a quantum link called entanglement. Researchers from Nanjing University in China described in a study to publish in a physical review letters that the photons were sent to two spots a kilometer apart. Even when separated by large distances, entangled quantum particles can preserve their interrelated properties, tenable for a new source of communication, such as counterintuitive behavior can be exploited. At some point, scientists have hoped to create a global quantum internet that relies on the transmission of quantum particles in order to enable ultra-secure communications by using the particles to encode messages with secret codes. A quantum internet could also enable distant quantum computers to collaborate or conduct experiments that test quantum physics limits. The photons were transmitted by two drones, utilized by researchers. One drone created pairs of entangled particles sending one to ground station and relaying on the other to the second drone at the same time. The particles it received was that transmitted to a second ground station a kilometer away for, from the first. Drone fleets could collaborate in the future to set entangled particles to recipients in a variety of locations. And that's all for the latest news. Thank you for that informative news, Cassandra. And for our next physical news, Moons reveal the whooping voltages inside the thunderstorm. Physicists use Abbott subatomic particles to prove the inner workings of the cloud. The Porter Rizal and Batasar will give you more insights about this topic. Thanks, friends. Good day, everyone. I am Hazel and Batasar reporting for the latest news. An invisible drizzle of subatomic particles has shown that thunderstorms may store up much higher electric voltages than we thought. Using muons heavier relatives of electrons that constantly rain down on Earth's surface, scientists probe the inside of a storm in southern India. The cloud's electric potential, the amount of work necessary to move an electric charge from one part of the cloud to another reach 1.3 billion volts, the researchers report in a study published March 15 in Physical Review Letters that 10 times the largest voltage previously found by using balloons to make similar measurements. High voltages within clouds spark lightning, but despite the fact that thunderstorms regularly range over our head, we really don't have a good handle on what's going on inside them, says physicist Joseph Dwyer of the University of New Hampshire in Durham, who was not involved with the research. If confirmed to such high voltages, inside the thunderstorms could explain a puzzling observation. Some storms send bursts of high-energy light called gamma rays upward, but scientists don't fully understand the processes that could create such energetic light. If thunderstorms indeed reach the billion volt level, that could account for the mysterious light. Again, I am Kisel Alpazar, and that's all for the latest news. Thank you for the informative delivery, Hazel. So now, let's move on to the trivia of the day. Say, Will. Thank you, Jana. Good day, Pip6. I am Cyril Angeles. Come and lend me your ears as we discover secrets that make our everyday world more real. Did you know that the Eiffel Tower is taller during summer? Well, let me explain something. The Eiffel Tower gained a few centimeters in summer but lost in winter. 
Wow! One of the reasons the Eiffel Tower is still as dazzling as ever is because it adapts to its environment and all types of weather conditions such as wind, cold, rain, snow, frost, heat, and etc. Like any metal, bottled iron is sensitive to variations in temperature and so reacts to high temperatures in summer and low or even negative temperatures in winter. When temperature rise, the tower increases in size. This is a natural physical phenomenon called thermal expansion. Heat causes an increase in volume that makes the Eiffel Tower a few centimeters taller. This expansion also causes the tower to tilt slightly away from the sun. The sun only heats one of the four sides of the tower, creating an imbalance with the other three sides that remain stable, thus causing the Eiffel Tower to lean. In this way, the sun's movement over the course of a clear day can cause the top of the tower to move in a more or less circular curve measuring approximately 15 centimeters in diameter. Conversely, when cold winter, winter weather arrives, the metal structure contracts and it can lose a few centimeters as well. Suffice it to say that these changes are natural and infinitesimal and have no impact on the robustness of the structure. They are also absolutely imperceptible to visitors and observers. On the other hand, high winds can cause it to wobble or vibrate somewhat without damaging the structure. That's because the engineers at Eiffel's company had 20 years experience designing metal viaducts. The tower was truly with its curves, shapes, and edges. Designed to minimize wind resistance. But of course, when the wind exceeds certain limit, the Eiffel Tower closes the top floor or even the whole tower. To protect the public and their staff from the re risk posed by turbulent weather condition. So, if you want to climb the steps of the Eiffel Tower, go in the winter. Again, I am Cyril Angeles and always remember that a single fact can change everything. Back to you, China and Lance. Wow, it's really an interesting trivia. Since it relates to Eiffel Tower in which people love to go to. Have you heard about this, Lance? Because I just heard it now from Cyril. Indeed, trivias are really amusing and surprising facts. Yeah, trivia is about discovering secrets that make everyday world more real, surprising, and exciting. Knowing all the tiny details that create place and history. That's, That's all, all for, for the week with six. We, we hope, hope everyone, everyone is doing fine. fine. This is Maria Jana Castro. And I'm Lansky Dance and Public Team. And this, this is News Physica. Giving you unbiased news. Good day. Good day.